dependent on Abby. See, I, I want to unload something. I want to unload the mercy of God and the love of God and the grace of God on someone. I want to get help with my load. you to know the Lord. 
He does not want you to walk with God. He does not want you to get the blessings that God has for you. He doesn't want you to get that. So stay, stay, stay in the fold. So you can be vigilant. I'm in prayer. Because I know the devil does not want, he doesn't want a group of people to get this. That he has the ability to give us all things pertaining to life and godliness. He has the ability to do that. You don't have to want for anything. If you are hooked up with God, you don't want for anything. Do you understand that? That is part of the mantle of salvation and being blessed. Just for a minute, Reverend Fred, if you hooked up with God, that means he walks with me. Wherever I go, he goes with me. He talks with me because I'm hooked up with a pearl. We were taught a valuable lesson by our founding father. He said God protects what God controls. That's why we march in obedience because God protects what he controls. Some of you struggle financially. Uh, God protects what he controls. Oh, I lay my life down. Because I need all oh, I want protection. I want extended protection. Lord, oh, I gotta be like Job. Just in case my purpose or my children have sinned against you. Because they may not understand like I do. Protect. in your hands. So God protects what he controls. I try to walk in obedience. Now I'm not going to tell you I'm perfect. Abby, sometimes I mess up. But you looking at a sister that know where the altar of God is at, I get it right in my heartbeat. Some of y'all grew up with me. I stayed at the altar. You can almost mark it. Then she go to the altar. <laughs> And I wasn't up there praying for anybody, but Lisa, I'm up there. I, if, if I needed help from God, I got to the altar. I held on to the horns at the altar. Lord, you got to help me. I've been broken hearted from relationships. But I said, Lord, you have to help me. I'm getting up from here. I'm, you're looking at someone after you can only wallow so many years from a broken heart. I'm, I'm going to tell you, don't, only, don't do that forever. After a while, get yourself up. Pull your shirt down and get to walking. Start marching again. Honey, marches look good. You say what you want to say. Ain't nothing like a marching person. You like, who that person look? Look at them. How they look? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna march open eye. Yeah. I'm gonna see for me. Try to see for someone else. We have three, four generations in this church. We have to see for everyone. That's right. If we speak the truth, it has to be in love. Some of us are not commissioned to correct. Lord, let me say it again. You are not commissioned to correct because you don't have the underlying thing that God has, and that's love. But if you have love, you can tell somebody, they know you mean well. When you say, baby, I'm going to just tell you, you don't need to do that no more. Saying it like this, I don't know why you know. Because I want you to make it. That's the bottom line. I ain't trying to turn you outside your way. I want you to make it. I know this is the best thing going. I want you to make it. I ain't trying to see anybody lost. I want you to make it. When I went over and prayed for Kathy's daughter, the Lord had put it on my heart. You go over there and pray for Rachel. I love Rachel. I want 
want you to make it back. I understand foolishness and put a knot in you. Oh, but I pray in Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Oh, oh, all that thing, whatever you have to do, but undo that knot, that foolishness that put in her. I know she knows you're good. We don't even know sometimes what's hindering people. We don't have a clue what they're dealing with. But the Spirit, He searches all things. Oh yeah, the deep things of God. He'll search it out. Won't He do it? Oh, He'll search it out. He'll search out what your problem is in your life. He knows what has you power. He'll search it out. Oh, He'll get inside of you and start working on stuff you didn't even know how to resolve. We're going to march open eye because we want God to do some great things. So, I can't get tired. I know being saved takes energy. That's why you try to stay in shape. But we do have the word of God that says, if we wait on him, we gonna what? We gonna mount up? Am I right, Minister Sandy? We gonna what? Mount up on wings like what? What we gonna do? We gonna run this evening. Woo! 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 And, and then when I, when I get almost tired, I'm gonna walk, and I still ain't gonna faint. I still won't faint. When my road gets slow, I still am not going to faint. So if you walk open eye, the thing about it, you you start receiving that revelation and.